yeah, obviously the Ashes was uh, amazing to be a part of. To do something that we haven't been able to do for a long period of time is um, very special for the group and it was amazing few months to spend um, every day with each other and um, amazing to be a part of. For mine, my highlight for you, you're actually on the field when this happened, when your good mate, Nick Benton, took a catch that I will never, ever forget. What about this celebration? Check it out. Well, yeah, I had a pretty good seat in the house. Wadey is absolutely taking this down, but old Benno. Um, <laughs> I'm in his brawl party in a few weeks' time, but um, the big fella's on his buck show, so I um, had the best seat in the house and then listened to it on a cab ride about 4 a.m. in the morning, so, um, yeah, one away. Something that I don't think oh, I've never laughed so hard in my life, going none for 140. <laughs> well, I can't wait for his wedding. I'll tell you what, that's going to be a bit of fun, judging by that. Oh, his wedding in about 40 years plus, I think. He said he told me, he said he hasn't dropped the catch since 91, so... Um, uh, the big fella, he enjoyed it, I think. Enjoy your night, mate. Thanks, mate. We'll do. Well, Mel, we've seen some great catches. None better than that. I think that's a fair call. Thank you, Richard. What a great catch and an even better story behind it. Join now. He needs no introduction, but I'll do it anyway. At Aussie superstar, Pat Cummins. Hello, Patty. How you going, Mel? Um, not bad at all. Congratulations on what you've described yourself as a perfect summer of cricket. Yeah, it's been uh, pretty flawless from the men's side. Um, yeah, pretty stress-free five tests back home and obviously retaining the Ashes is a big highlight for us. You made that sound so casual. It's uh, cruisy. We're here to um, well, announce the winner of the Betty Wilson Young Cricketer of the Year. Now, to recognise the next generation, um, do you, you remember Mahi or Dabu when you really burst on the scene? Yeah, it doesn't seem too long ago, but um, now most of my teammates are in the commentary box, actually, when I look around. <laughs> but it goes very quickly. Um, yeah, so enjoy it to whoever it is. Is that where you're headed to eventually? I don't know. Maybe. It's pretty full up there at the moment. It is. <laughs> the world is certainly your oyster. Let's have a look at the nominees for the Betty Wilson Young Cricketer Award. Annabelle Sutherland. Fantastic whack straight down the ground by young Annabelle Sutherland. Doesn't seem to worry that she's only 16 years of age. Well played. Class player. Josie Dooley. Loft straight, a huge hit. And there's the half century. Beautifully played, Josie Dooley. Taylor Valenic. Oh. What a fight back from Valenic there. Knocks over Harris when she loomed large. Hannah Darlington. Hannah Darlington with the pressure on the last ball. She's got the last over. That pressure, she eats it up. Another teenager showing all the skills and a reversal there for Darlington. It's a beautiful reverse sweep. And she gets rewarded again with four. Yes, and the Betty Wilson Young Cricketer of the Year goes to Taylor Vlemick. for this save. The 21-year-old made her test debut versus England in July just last year. She's had an incredible year. Huge congratulations, Taylor. Uh, tell us about receiving your baggy green last year for the Ashes. Yeah, that was a pretty incredible day, really. I think it's what everyone dreams of growing up as a kid, watching test cricket. So uh, to get that all, um, baggy green by Mitch Stark as well, which is pretty cool. I don't think I took it off for the four days. So. <laughs> Fitting that he gave that to you and Paddy Cummins is not far away. How fast can you bowl? Oh, I don't know. On a good day, maybe 120-odd, but not as fast as Sharon. Um, said before, so <laughs> hopefully one day if I can roll half as quick as that, I'll be happy. Now, they must breed them very tough where you come from because uh, how many injuries have you had and what kind of injuries? Uh, I've had a few over my time. Um, Tell us. Just a couple of ACLs um, here and there, but <laughs> just, yeah, we're hopefully on the better side of that now. So um, yeah, it's taught me a few things about patience, obviously, and um, now I'm just really enjoying being on the path with the girls. Yeah, it's a, a great time to be, obviously, in the game. The T20 World Cup, not too far away. You, we know how good you've been in the WBBL. You're looking forward to having a go at this? Yeah, I think it's an awesome experience. I was lucky enough to, to be with the girls um, over in the West Indies, which is kind of my first crack at it. So um, to be able to do that in front of family and friends and um, in our backyard is going to be a pretty awesome experience and I know we all can't wait. You mentioned the backyard. How much of a role did playing cricket with your brother have with you now? 
Yeah, uh, me and James used to have a few battles in the backyard. I think he's copped a few bruises because I didn't have any idea where they were going back then. Um, there was a lot of unintentional bounces and full tosses there. So, um, yeah, shout out to James back home. Um, yeah, thanks for copping them for me. <laughs> well, congratulations, huge congratulations. You might have a few words to say. Uh, yeah, firstly, um, I'd just like to, to say how humbled I am to, to win a peer voted award. It's obviously um, a huge honour, especially considering the, the amount of talent um, in the, the women's game at the moment. Um, I'd also just like to thank Cricket Victoria uh, for all the opportunities and support they've given me over the past couple of years. Um, and I, I'd also just like to, to thank my family. Um, most importantly, I think, um, yeah, I'm just so appreciative of the support they've given me over, the, over my life, I suppose, and um, it's always really cool to be able to look into the crowd and, and see them cheering me on. So, um, yeah, huge thanks to them. I, yeah, I, ca I can't thank them enough, I suppose. Um, and just to finish off, just um, thanks to Cricket Australia and the ACA for putting on tonight and hope everyone has a good night. Wow, beautifully said. Congratulations, Sarah. Well done. Good job. Well done to uh, Taylor, a genuine rising star of Australian cricket. And right next to me is a genuine force in Australian cricket. Round of applause for Alicia Healy. <laughs> How good is Taylor? Very, very good. I'm excited to see what she's going to be able to pr produce for the future. Are you enjoying this new role where you become, be gentle with you, you become one of the older ones compared to some of these young talent around you? Yeah, I'm definitely a lot sore every day, but um, it's exciting. The, the next crop of young Australian female cricketers is unbelievably exciting, and I'm excited to see what they can do in the future. Are you keen to jump in the nets when she's bowling, or you avoid it? No. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not Rachel Haynes. She bumps Rachel at any opportunity she gets, so I uh, try and avoid that net where possible. Well, let's check out who's making waves in the men's by crowning the Bradman Young Cricketer Award. Here are the nominees. Cameron Green. Oh, Green has placed that beautifully. Green rocks onto the back foot and puts him away. That's a nice shot from Green. Oh, that is impressive stuff. The long lead is... Josh Philippi. Yes. Oh, what a way to finish it. It's on he the roof. puts it under the roof. There we go. Oh. Going, going, gone. Wes Agar. Bring him on, he'll get a wicket. And Wes Agar gets that wicket. And what about that man again? The man with the golden arm, Wes Agar, straight back on, takes his third wicket. That's what he does. He consistently takes wickets. And the Bradman Young Cricketer of the Year is Wes Agar. Wes, come in, I might just lift these up a touch at the moment. Keep in mind, I'm six foot four, so he's a seriously big man. It's been a great year, mate, and moving to South Australia has been a key part of it? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I was obviously there a few years ago, and to go back there and play and get the opportunity has been uh, really rewarding. What's it like being growing up when your older brother sort of goes ahead of you in many ways? Uh, no, it's really good. He's um, experienced things uh, before I've had to, so teaches me a few things and he's always got some words of wisdom before I go out and play, so no, it's, it's a really good. What was backyard cricket like in those tough streets of Malvern? Ah, <laughs> yeah, it was hard. I don't think uh, we got too much schoolwork done. It was uh, pretty much backyard cricket, but no, it was really fun and we got another brother back home, so it was uh, competitive, but fun. Look at some of the names that have won this award. Brett Lee, Shane Watson, Philip Hughes, David Warner, Jai Richardson, just to name a few. What are the aspirations for you? <laughs> Hearing those names, you almost seem out of your depth. Um, but no, I just want to play well. I want to go out there every, every day and compete hard and play with my mates. And um, that's what I'm doing so far, so hopefully it continues. You certainly are, mate. You can thank a few of those mates right now. Um, yeah, I think it's a peer-voted award, so I'm honoured to receive this award and be recognised by all the players um, in state cricket at the moment. Uh, I'd like to thank my family, uh, obviously, I wouldn't be here without them and their support. Um, and finally, I'd like to thank the Saka. Uh, they've given me the opportunity and they've backed me, so I'm extremely grateful for all of their support. Thank you very much. Huge round of applause for Wes Agar.